All right, these are some Blunger propellers that I made up. Uh, I was prowling around on the internet one evening and somebody from away, a I don't know where it was, who did plaster work, suggested this configuration for a, a simple and expensive uh, agitator blade. And they actually work quite well. They don't have anything sharp because you can put them in a plastic bucket and you don't cut your bucket. And you can make them make them different sizes. So this one would be overkill for this bucket and this one's about right. And I have both of these on variable speed drills so you can control the speed of it. Uh, so this is some slip that's been sitting around. And the point of this, the point of turning your, your clay body test into slip is that all the clay particles will actually get wet. If you don't uh, use some process to get your clay particles wet, then you really won't be able to test the qualities of the body because the plastic quality simply won't come out if you just mix this up like cake batter. So if you mix it up a slip and you blunge it maybe once a day and you let it sit for a week, it'll develop full plasticity. So if you hold the impeller near the side, you can turn it without sucking air into it. And this slip is fairly thick. If anybody's in the market for a drill, this one is a hammer drill. I don't use it that way, but it's an excellent drill for glaze mixing and for slip mixing because it's got two different speeds on it. You got variable speed, but you have two speed levels. So it's adaptable to a lot of different mixing jobs. And it's a sturdy industrial drill. So that's all churned up and more or less homogenous. A bit like pancake batter.